If your doubles on the kick drum suck, don't feel too bad, man. There's a lot of us in the same boat, myself included. I've admitted plenty of times that my doubles aren't the greatest on the bass drum, but I can tell you how you can work on them, and I'm going to do that today. Can I give you a simple little hack that you can do to help you get those doubles in shape? Now what I'm going to show you today is just a really simple approach that you can take to playing your pedal that will help you get that technique that will allow you to get strong doubles whenever you go to play them, especially in grooves. So if you haven't yet figured out how to get your doubles nice and strong when you're playing, this video should help you out. Now the toughest part about developing your doubles on the bass drum is getting those notes to sound strong and consistent can be a frustrating process when you're trying to do that because you're messing around with, you know, heel toe, slide technique. You just, you can't get anything happening. I'm going to show you one that you can try for yourself now. Just for the heck of it, you tried everything else. So try this one out. Um, so next time you go to play your pedal, what I want you to do is this. I want you to imagine that there's two lines on your pedal. There's one closer to the front and there's one about halfway down the pedal. Okay? So one there and one there. What you're going to try to, to um, visualize is this. The first line up near the top, that's going to be a push. This line, the second line down, like halfway down the pedal, that's going to be a tap. Okay? So we have tap, and push. Upstroke, downstroke. Now when you go to play your pedal physically, and you can try this either with your shoe on or shoe off, you know, whatever works for you. But the idea is this. What you're going to do is you're going to try to get used to this motion here where you're pulling back for the tap and then pushing forward for that downstroke. So you sort of get this thing happening here. If you've been overthinking how to play your pedal, this should help clean that whole thing up. All right. So all we're going to do is I'm going to show you um, four simple little grooves. Okay. These aren't chops type grooves or anything like that. These are just made to help you develop the muscle memory that you need to be able to play that pedal, get that sort of tap, push, tap, push thing happening. Um, once you do, you can apply it to all the crazy chop stuff later. So while you're playing these exercises, again, I want you to imagine those two lines on your pedal, okay? The tap and then the push. What I want you to do is concentrate more on the tap. So pulling your toes back, to tap that pedal. And then for all the downstrokes, all you really got to do is just drop your foot. If you drop your foot, it's going to push forward. You don't really have to think about that too much. So try to focus much more on just the upstrokes. Check out these four exercises.
So after you've messed around with these four grooves for a little bit and they're starting to get a little more comfortable for you, starting to get the hang of it, then what you can start to do is mix and match. You know what I mean? The whole idea is to um, sort of get comfortable with playing this kind of everywhere in the bar. So you can start to combine some of these exercises as you're, um, you know, picking up your tempo and then just, you know, just practice grooving it out. So if this is something that you haven't tried before, give it a shot. You might find, you know, after even just an hour of trying it, that things might start to sound a little stronger, a little bit more consistent down there in the kick drum. Then you can take this approach to playing on your pedal and then apply it to, you know, doing all the crazy, all that crazy stuff you hear the gospel drummers do and a lot of those metal drummers. Just remember that repetition fixes everything. So that's all this is about. It's really just about helping you to develop the mechanics, just giving you an option that you can use to play in your pedal. So that's it. I'm almost 100% sure that this is going to help you out if you've been having trouble with it. So go ahead, give it a shot. If it works for you, share it with somebody else. As for me, I'm out. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Subscribe button, make sure you mash that before you bounce. Share this video if you dig it. If you like this t-shirt, you can get one. All the links will be in the description box. Take you over to the merch shop. You can grab one of these for yourself. Drop a comment below if you got one. Like, subscribe. See you next video.